So I find sometimes I get stuck between, like, say I'm in a situation and there's an outcome that I all of a sudden feel like the outcome is not going to be what I want. And I'm really getting stuck lately with, this is my intuition telling me that this is not going to go the way that I want versus, well, have, like, how am I, or am I, and am I now well, manifesting a bad reality? Here's the answer to that question. When that happens, when all of a sudden, first of all, it's not an all of a sudden, it was gradual, but we know what you mean. When it bursts into what looks like more real reality, more manifestation, when that happens, how do you feel? It makes me anxious because I want to trust my anxiety, but also I think I'm convincing myself that I'm not. We ask you a one word question anxious. and answer. Anxious. Anxious. Or, I, uh, shameful. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm. Like, why am I doing this? Why am I manifesting something I don't want? Would you describe that feeling as wanted or unwanted? Unwanted. Would you describe it as it feels good or it doesn't feel good? It doesn't feel good. Therefore, it's not coming from the guidance from your inner being who is rooting and helping you get to what you want. It's not intuition that you want to follow. It's intuition you picked up along your physical trail that you want to stop doing. When you feel disappointed, you say, oh, is this my inner being saying, don't go there? No, this is your mother. <laughs> this is some worried person. This is some fearful person who cared for you and didn't want you to. The most common thing is parents love you so much. They don't want you to set yourself up for disappointment. And it's so ironic. It's so law of attraction-y that the very thing that they are saying in order to protect you from being disappointed is encouraging you to calibrate away from the things you want, which makes certain you're going to be disappointed. So the next logical question is, what do you do? So let's walk through this today. We're going to get right to what you're asking about and we're going to give you the law based answer. We just did, but that's sort of like, thanks a lot, Abraham. Or Captain Obvious. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for that. But we would also like to guide you to a right now remedy. And what's the right now remedy? What's the remedy that could happen right now? The only one. You can feel better. You can feel a little better. When you feel a little better, your vibration is changed. When your vibration is changed, your point of attraction is changed. When your point of attraction is changed, everything about that has changed. So give us an example, if you want to, of what you were just talking about, where you wanted something and then all of a sudden you realize, mm, not likely. Tell us about that. Um, like dating somebody new and feeling a connection and then boom, feeling like the them pulling their energy back. All right. So let's just freeze frame that right there. You, you got the scenario. Let's set that aside in a box, even write it down off on the corner of a piece of paper. What happened? And then write as best you can the emotion that you're feeling because of that experience i don't want to say disappointment but that's the first word it's a good one and disappointment isn't as heavy as you think it is it wasn't despair it wasn't self-hatred it wasn't revenge well that one time it was but <laughs> mostly it's just disappointment or discouragement so you write that so now envision or have in front of you a piece of paper not that big <laughs> just a piece of paper and draw a big circle that's going to contain this subject and then write some circles around the edge Esther puts 12 around like the numbers on an analog clock and then in the center draw two smaller circles and write disappointment in one of them this is where I'm starting and because I'm aware that how I feel is an indicator of my point of attraction. My purpose of doing this process is if I can to improve the way I feel. So I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm not going to make stuff up. I'm not going to blame anybody. I'm not going to do anything that accentuates where I am. My purpose of this is to lighten it up a little bit by seeing if I can find any easy matches to feeling good any easy existing matches because when you try too hard you just emphasize how bad you feel if you are really in debt and you really need a lot of money and you write in your circle tomorrow I'm gonna win the lottery when you don't know that or probably even believe it it just accentuates your feeling of not enough 
or when you say my mother will leave me her fortune and you know there isn't one things like that so you're looking for existing matches that feel better than discouragement or disappointment on this subject things like we're just going to pick your brain a little bit and maybe some from out there but things that are easy about that like this isn't my last choice and you just never know who you're going to run into feels a little better and I've defined what I'm looking for rather clearly little tiny writing what we're saying is point at it and write a word or two and then you can think around it because you don't need to write all of this in your little circle that's here but I've been defining what I want for a long time and it's worth waiting for and something like I'll bet there have been a lot of people who have been right where I am right now that now have a great relationship now all of these are easy existing matches because all of that's true you're not making any of it up but you are reaching inside of yourself looking for easy existing matches to feeling better not to accomplishing this thing right now this red hot minute because this goal of this process is not to bring a partner this goal of this process is to feel a little better right now period on this subject so then you romp around a little more I like getting to know people I'm a good conversationalist you are I'm good at hearing and reflecting back you are we're experiencing that right now I'm a good comprehender you are we're aware of your comprehension of everything we say I get things on deep levels I've collected a lot of data and I'm looking forward to this unfolding it's kind of fun to be in the process of this people always say that the joy is in the journey I've always hated that phrase but maybe there's something to that maybe I could have maybe I yeah, yeah well, <laughs> the joy is in the journey <laughs> but you got to get used to that because it's a never-ending journey if you keep thinking that you got to be to the manifestation of never-ending manifestations you're setting yourself up for discomfort but it's fun to move along I'm looking forward to what comes next I'm starting to feel a little bit glad that I took this time to focus here I can feel myself lifting a little bit about this and then you might even say eager you might you might feel a little eager you might feel a little eager about it or I feel eager er I feel eager er <laughs> but the big news is that just doing that even just doing it one time took a couple of minutes your vibrations in a different place than it was before you did that you feel different your point of attraction has shifted and you know what that means now we're gonna say this in very literal terms you are now from two minutes on this we've been calling this the marble game because you're walking around with these beliefs like carrying around a bag of marbles and everybody else is too and the law of attraction is matching up your marbles and you just improved your marbles that are active the disappointed marbles took a back seat and the ego marbles have come forward so we're gonna make a really strong statement here that we want you to remember all of you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever the dating pool just changed for you <laughs> it just changed for you those people that don't know what they're looking for poof into the background those people who just like to give people a little ride and then set them free poof into the background those who are looking for a nurse with a purse poof poof into the background those that are looking for some fun ooh, they're coming forward those who like good conversation those who like people that are thoughtful about life those who like people who are on top of life they've come to the foreground they're ready to meet you around the next corner and oh if we talk to you every hour of every day for the rest of your lives we could not begin to describe the potential rendezvous points that are lined up for you but you will recognize them when you see them because you did this you're queued up for that awareness now, you say. Hello. Um, this was perfect. I've heard you say that the, um, that don't worry, it'll get bigger if I ignore 
a, uh, uh, a feeling that I'm well to be really accurate whatever you focus on gets bigger whatever it is wanted or unwanted whatever you're focused upon gets bigger because your point of attraction gains momentum right okay so would I be correct in saying that if I have a, a disease process of going you know something that's happening in my body a diagnosis it is it is uh, something that I've ignored a it was small to begin with I ignored how I was feeling and that it it grew bigger and bigger and bigger until it got my attention is that accurate <laughs> Give us a little more. What do you mean? Is it accurate to say? In other words, are you saying if something's completely not realized by you, can it get bigger? I, I, I'm saying, uh, for instance, I have, um, I have a, an injured knee, and I'm assuming that this didn't just come out of thin air. It came out of me um, blocking my energy there for years so it's really helpful rather than trying to figure out how I got to this place that I don't want to be to stand in this place and as things happen that make you realize I don't prefer this I would prefer this then do your best to think about what it is that you are preferring now that sounds easy to do it isn't exactly easy to do that's why we're using a new terminology for a while we have been look for easy existing matches rather than saying my knee hurts I want a knee that feels better well asking for a knee that feels better while you've got an active vibration going on that my knee hurts doesn't get you anywhere it just practices the tug of war it practices both ends of the stick at the same time but when you realize that the discomfort of the hurting knee has caused you to launch rockets of desire so the request is already in step one has already taken place step two is already underway too because your inner being knows what your path of most allowance to that recovery is so your work is whatever it takes to keep you in the best feeling place which usually is not trying to figure out what to do about your knee it's looking for the benefit in other things it's looking for the benefit where you can find it it's looking for the good feeling where you can find it or you could be more specific you could say well I remember when that didn't feel so good and now that's gone and that didn't feel so good and that's gone your bodies are so responsive to this vibrational frequency and if you can accept hear it we're going to speak it bluntly boldly loudly your inner being knows what you want and knows how to call the behavior from the cells of your body to accomplish it and if you're not in the way then it happens now what puts you in the way worrying about it fussing about it we don't mean to say that the path of least resistance may be completely without some sort of action we do mean to say that you cannot find the path of least resistance until you have less resistance and worrying about something is not the path of least resistance we touched on this earlier when we said you could be sick and be happy because the condition does not need to dictate your vibration and if the condition does not dictate your vibration then your point of attraction is free to be whatever you want it to be now there's a sort of mastery in that almost nobody doesn't notice when they've got a throbbing toe you just do but you don't have to and the more you reach for easy existing matches then the more you'll be able to connect the dots and see the improvement as it happens if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.